Welcome folks to Final Fantasy World of Division. This is your daily dose of the arena and today we're gonna use three missile units. We're gonna use Luarta, we're gonna go use Lucia and we're gonna use Craze. Now they've, uh, they, they're set up so they can take advantage of the Pursuer Vision card which will give us some uh, magic attack resistance, some um, missile attack up and some stuff. This is a rainbow team as we do not have a single element on the team. And let's take a look at the stats. The stats are pretty much the same. I wouldn't like 7.5k HP, 1.3.5k attack, 100 agility. Nice. Good for Luarta. We have a 6.8k HP, 1.2k attack, and a 98 agility. And for Grace, we have a 6.5k HP, 1.1k attack, and 87 agility. She is not very fast, but it is what it is. Mostly because of vision cards, mostly because we don't have much else. So what are we gonna fight? Now we do have, what do we have here? We have Yuffie, Pissarro and Mod. Now because these guys have transcended, and I only have Luarta transcended, I don't think this will be a good showcase, as these guys have uh, basically Mongo's power. I could fight this one. No, oh, Eagle Bird could be a problem. Agrius and Cloud could be another problem. But then again, I have Fire, so how about that? Now, if I wanted to be a tryhard, I would switch Luarta with Lucia, so they would match. Like, Luarta would match against Agrius. That's Fire against Ice. I'm not gonna do that because I'm lazy, honestly. Can be asked to do it. I'm, I'm not aiming for the top tier arena. Because there comes a point until I have Warrior of Light, where I cannot beat Sephiroth and his team. So, I think Sephiroth is, I mean, Warrior of Light is the only solution, as tanking goes, for uh, beating Dark Meta, or at least physical Dark Meta. Until I have it. Sorry for the yawning. Anyway, buffing is buffing. See, this is good. Oh. She's just first blooding like that. Okay. Your help is much I don't know what that slow arrow something did, but... Ooh, Council up. Ooh, Lucia going for the kill. No, she doesn't. Why do you charge? Target chat. Ooh, I love this buffing. I love this buffing. This buffing is great. Everybody's buffing here. Vigilance? Okay. I don't know why, but sure. Aim fire? Okay. Agnes moving sideways. She thinks this is kind of a doom. Lucia. You cannot shoot through walls, if I'm not mistaken. She Oh, but she has an archer. So, the enemy starts pelting at us. Barrier break. Great. Mega charge. That takes down um, Ingelbert, but he has courage. Come on, Luarta. I know you can do something. Split shot. There you go. 11 key damage. A little bit unnecessary. Charge from Lucia and slow shot from uh, Kreis. Well, this was like... Okay, this was kind of weird, but we won. So definitely a good team so far against randoms. I think this was a little bit uncohesive team. But for climbing... <laughs> Jesus Christ. For, uh, for uh, winning the normal arena, I think we're... We're okay. Now, if we were to pit ourselves against... I mean, we can try this randomly. Oh, but this guy. This guy can create trouble. Let's fight this. Even though I don't think we can win. Even though his team doesn't make any sense. But some units by themselves can be considerably harder to kill. Oberon, for instance, has a greater range. Although he can use it only once, but... He's got great range. As for uh, Sadali, he's very strong. And as for Sephiroth, it's broken. So, whatever. I like the fact that they do not touch units. They do not nerf them. Maybe some units in the past have been nerfed, but probably nothing limited. Like Sephiroth is truly broken. Alright. 
Let's uh, keep buffing. This is the usual stuff, so we get a lot of buffs from my from this team. You nullified haste? Like, dude, we are not using haste. But sure. We don't also have healing, so whatever. Uh, why did you use Vigilance, though? Huh. Barrier break on Oberon. Okay. I think Oberon is gonna do a double kill. Or maybe not. Maybe it doesn't have the height or the range. Which means that now Lucia is gonna do something. There you go. Wow. One attack. Come on, Craze. It's yours. It's yours. Come on, it's there. There you go. Can you go a little bit? Okay. Sadly, it's a little bit slow. So the tactics used in this uh, arena, due to the um, way the arena is uh, structured... No, no, see, you need to attack Sephiroth. Sephiroth is the problem here. Do you understand? Now we are dead. Why do you attack suddenly? You have Sephiroth. Well, Sephiroth didn't do much. Perfect evasion, as always. Quadruple shot, there you go. Lucia, please do something. And she kills Sephiroth. So we won, but... As to be said, though, both our teams were rainbow. So... Let's not discard that option, but I like the strategy of all my units converging on one side of the map, so we pick them off one at a time. That is a great strategy on this map. So far it's working. Shall we see not? Uh, what about this one? Mm, what about someone with a level 120 units? That would be great. Lucio, Medina and Dark Fina. We can probably... We have magic attack resistance. We can probably do something. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Well, what can you do? At the end of the day, there's only so much you can do. I would like to make a guide on how to build your arena team for uh, fighting the meta, but until I have Water of Light, it doesn't make much sense. I mean, the basic of arena is, what is the meta? Meta is basically lightning and dark and fire. Uh, fire is not that prevalent but I think it's gonna get uh, more exposure as Kafka comes out. Already now we can see Yuffie, Pissarro and someone else. Um, so you can build around that by having like water teams. You can fight the uh, earth meta by getting the uh, sorry the lightning meta by getting earth teams out and you can fight the dark meta by getting Water of Light, and then anybody who can one hit KO Sephiroth and company. So, very strong DPSs, and what you need is a Cleric for Dark Veil that will increase your resistances against Dark. Because the problem with Dark is that it, it's front loaded damage, like they go in and they kill all of your units immediately. So, if you can find a way. Oh, please, Craze. Chris, what the fuck are you doing? Literally, Chris, like, you had to do, you have to press auto attack. Now you get a darker. I mean, it doesn't do much. Rapid release, great. So Medina does a blitz, uh, blitzara. That's a double kill. So we are Chris against Luarta. Luarta, take care of this. Thank you. Ah, Luata. She's, she's kind of a monster, but she's hard to, hard to use. Because she's a Gen 0 unit. She doesn't have, like, crude gas type of uh, utility in her kit. That's the biggest difference between Gen 0 and Gen 3 units, is the kit. So, Rulia has uh, a follow-up attack on, uh, like, Pursuit and stuff. She doesn't. He has other things, so... That's difficult to keep up. Cannot keep up basically, cannot use this unit. So we have Little Lila Halloween, we have the Black Robe Elena, and we have Yuna. I think we can afford to fight those guys. Yuna's gonna probably stick a re raise on someone, and probably it's gonna be on Little Lila. Which could be a problem. 
but with that magic attack we can take a couple of hits um, although before a couple of hits actually killed us mm. well there's not much I can do guys <laughs> it's it all boils down to transcendence eventually as these old units will get their transcendence I don't think transcendence is um, is a good idea. I, I mean, there could be there could have been other ways to power creep. I think this is more, the most retarded way to power creep is just to give new levels. How about that? How about you start modifying classes and fix your goddamn game, Gumi? Hmm? How about you give like abilities that boosts like damage of a single ability or maybe a buff something? Maybe white mages could get a protectra. You know, I know it's crazy, but Protectra is actually a thing since Final Fantasy XI and even before that. So Protectra, Shellra, you know, like actually useful clerics and uh, healers, white mages. Well, anyway, Crazy is just kidding everybody, so who cares? So because of this team, the enemy has no targets. We get the upper hand by fighting these guys. Sharpshooting sh change. Kreis. Man, Kreis is great. Council, okay. They keep buffing, they have a lot of APs. Vigilance. Now, Black Robelena cannot do anything, but because we are standing on high ground, we can actually lob arrows and kill Black Rob. So they do not stand a chance. Nah, that, nah, nah. Keep in mind that these are random teams. Okay, that we're fighting rainbow teams. Now, if I have one more spare... Yes, we do. So let's try to find a meta team. I hope we can find one. I said a meta team, not an incomplete team. How about something really meta? Lyle. Yeah, no thank you. We need to find a meta team so we can show... Is this meta? This is not meta, get the fuck out of my face. Is this a light team? Yeah, but this is random. What is with these random colors? This is a single, a single unit. A single team that is actually meta here. I'm so low in the ranking that I cannot even find meta teams. Wow. This is actually sad. But what can you do? You know what? Let's fight Perrine, Little Leela, The Broken, and Sephiroth. Okay, let's see what we can do. Let Perrine... Let Perrine... Perrine is actually strong. It's actually one of those strong units. But it's water. And water against lightning, yeah. But it's water against fire, on the other hand. Yikes. She has some moves. All you need to guess fire is high accuracy. Because, you know, mostly fire is built upon the concept of Pesaro and uh, Yuffie, so they're gonna probably be evasion. So the more dexterity and accuracy you have, the better. Now, they're also squishes, so you don't need that much attack. As, a, as long as you can land your attacks. Because guaranteed hits with Yuffie are kinda negated. So you need a solution to that. Solution to that is accuracy. If you are start for stuff, you can probably slot in a serial trust master, even though it doesn't give you agility. And as the buff gives you accuracy. Okay, Grace, gonna do target share. Okay, the enemy is actually bunching up, which is great because you know what? He's gonna spam all of these abilities. But they only last like three turns. So, eventually, they will wear off. So are we, but we are ranged units, so... Lucia, you are about to go and get killed, right? Yes. I don't know why she charged. Okay, because Perrine cannot get in time. 
Perrine 11k damage. That's some emotional damage right there. Perrine goes down like... Brr. Like I didn't remember. Brr, brr, brr. And she just goes down. Okay. Lucia, give it your best. That's a charge. I'm pretty sure you had other things. But let's take care of uh, little Leela. And Lucia moves again. For <laughs> What? What's going on here? How did we not lose any single match? How? We are low in the ranking, but we are not fighting like... I'm not, like, you know, having random units. I do have random units. I not have, like... Element base and picking off on uh, weaker units. I'm just literally using two ultra rare, one mega rare, two gen zero, three gen zero units, and I'm winning against Sephiroth and likes. Yikes! So it doesn't take much to climb the ladder, but as you can see, this is a nice. This is, see because the map is big, we can make use of range units, and we're gonna take advantage of that. And we're gonna separate the enemy, fight them one at a time. And this what is what gives a ranged unit a great advantage. If you can bunch them up, they can focus targets and they can take them out one at a time. But this is your daily dose of the arena. I'm quite happy with this team. So it was pretty fun. And I will see you in the next one. Bye bye.